for our Greek star of the day has landed us right here in Loa Matasia Mimusi. Right here, we will be meeting a fantastic lady with sold out concerts. And what you didn't know, she is a part time farmer. Now, this lady, Akifungwa Mdomwake Anzi Kuimba, Utadania Watuoto wa Tanzania, Pemba, Zanzibar, Kila Malamapo Nonga Kisweli Kizuri, Wamekusanika. Enough with the clues, let's get right into it. One hour, Kewenzangu, hello. 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 Ukam pikia, ukam wanzalia, ukam tumikia, ukam wagir. Atileo o pole, si pani tena, ni same. Turudiane, tu wanze tena, ukula uwe, na saraju. Introduction, ladies and gents. It is Your Highness Sonaite Tande, and she is our Greek star of the day. How are you? I am fantastic. Thank you so much for having us. Hi, Finally, we are doing this. We've been talking about this for a very long you time. You know, I am so excited to see Sonaite, the farmer. Let's go, let's go, let's go, <laughs> let's go. My chickens. Woohoo! <laughs> Mansion B. Thank you. And we are finally here after that introduction. Mina can come and make a concert. Now, Jalipa, but Miss Howard. Front row with Sana the Great. Like, in now, this is a whole different you that we are not used to seeing. Yes. Sana the part time farmer. Part time. Please tell us a little bit about this place where we are. This is Mansion B. This is Mansion B. Yeah, so we've got uh, we've got your Kenyaji um, original. Uh -huh. So, to now Zaga Kuku, not to now Zama. Mayai ambayo ukirudi nyuma hapo ukanyaga hiyo mayai ujue utalipa please. Yeah, we already have eggs here. So you said you started at some point na mkacha. How long ago was that? Alafu pia ni nini ilifanya mkacha? The goal there was for it to be a commercial uh, kind of kind of thing. Uh, but then we, we met a couple of challenges, like we wanted to supply to restaurants and, and butcheries and whatever, but then they would have so many like requirements and limitations, like your chicken can't be smaller than this and it can't be bigger than this. Um, so the weight thing, and then the, sometimes we would want you to supply a certain number every week, which, which now become an issue because we hadn't gotten to a point where there were enough for us to be able to supply like that. Um, <laughs> So yo kidogo njo iliaribu mambo and then uh, I think there was there was a period of time where there was just everybody was doing chicken farming you know so even getting the market unless you know somebody somewhere who either has a restaurant or has a connection it's it's kind of difficult to get in there So I'm very curious to find out and understand so much more about the life of Sana as a farmer and how this process starts kutoka uchukue mayai mpaka usupply ufanye payments So for me it's uh, get the orders first I speak to people they tell me okay so we need ABCD da, 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 and um, and then I come and tell my mom so sometimes like if I need say eight trees and she's got nine she has to make sure that because if the, if she's collected them a long time ago she doesn't like to give people those ones she likes it when it's fresh so she'll even tell you as much as she wants to sell the eight she'd rather sell the six because then she's guaranteed that people are going to get fresh things um, so after getting that I pack the eggs in in packs of uh, 30 just as the tray is and mark them and I deliver them to wherever I'm supposed to go. Right now, do you feel like you're at a place where the challenges are more manageable or what would you say are still some of the today challenges of people who are doing poultry like you? Okay, so the challenges haven't changed. Uh, I think one or two times we have tried to see if we can sell to restaurants and butcheries like we did before or like we tried to do before. Like the, the expectation is still the same. We want this size, we want this number every week and maybe keeping up with that uh, that supply might be difficult for us and that size. And finally, there's so many other people who their parents have farms, they're farmers and are, they do agriculture, but they have not taken their time to learn the business like you are. They're not mm. getting themselves involved for whatever reason. Maybe they're doing their other things. They feel like they're not interested in agriculture. What would you tell them? Um, so for me, two things have always uh, been a necessity mm -hmm. for human beings. Uh, a place to live and food to eat. So for me, those are the two biggest businesses you could ever get into because human beings need those things. Um, farming is, you know, like when I look at where I live, I, I'm on agricultural uh, land. And to sit and do nothing with it really is, it's almost an insult to people who are 
have no spaces, have nowhere to farm, and that's the only thing that they know how to do. So here you are, you've been given the opportunity, you've been given the land, you have the know-how. Why not use it to the, you know, to the best of your ability and even for the benefit of other people? So be dedicated, be passionate, love your, love your activities, love your animals, and... You'll see the benefits of You'll it. You'll see the benefits. You will At see. At least you can attest you've seen results from... I have. It I makes have. some good money. Mm. Mm. Okay, Sawa, so we can go to the other side and give them a little something. Like, please, be careful. Yeah. Yes, to cut it, please. Here we go. Sometimes you you leave them and... Unakuta <laughs> zimedono adono. So, mm -hmm. we're going to feed room two. Ah, uh, mashakula. Bado. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, do you Okay. So basically, uh -huh. it's just to make sure that you spread the food uh -huh. across the trap so uh -huh. that they don't end up fighting to eat in one area. Okay. okay so. Uh -huh. Yeah, like that. So you just spread it through and through. Okay. Like they can't stay still. Eat. And that is all we had for you in For the Love of Farming with our Greek star of the day, Bing Sanai Pei Tande, a dearly loved superstar, an actress, a singer, an MC, all that and so much more. And today, she brought us into her life as a part-time farmer. Absolutely pure niceness. And she said one thing about agriculture, it's a business that will never fail because at the end of the day, people need to eat. We will be bringing you so much more in For the Love of Farming. See you in the next feature. And uh, I think I'll be leaving with the two eggs. Yeah. <laughs>